Hey everybody, today I'm going to Red Rock Station. Red Rock Station is in the northwest part of town near Summerlin. For those of you who don't live in Vegas, you have to know that this is a really nice hotel. And although it's apart from the strip, it's worth a visit to this place. I usually go to locals hotels for a price break because the prices on the strip are so high. Well at this place, the prices are going to be pretty similar to the strip. But it's a really nice place, and you don't have to deal with the crowds. There is a really nice steakhouse in here. It's called T-Bone's Chop House and Lounge. It's a pretty big steakhouse, beautifully designed, high ceilings, a full bar, and even patio seating. You wouldn't know that you were not on the strip because it's so nice. And you wouldn't know you're not on the strip because the prices are about the same as the strip. It was a busy Saturday night and our reservation was for 9 p.m. We got here a little bit early so we decided to sit at the bar but the bar was crowded. Well right outside T-Bones there is an Onyx bar and this place seemed pretty classy. It was pretty quiet and we didn't know it but there was actually live music here. I'll show you a little bit of the bar inside of T-Bones. The bar is incredible. I love the lighting, the decor. Everything was awesome. It was a great place to grab a couple drinks. For our lunch selection tonight, we have our pretzel, blue cheese brioche, very soft, pumpernickel oat bran, walnut raisin, and our sourdough. The complimentary bread at the beginning was actually really good. So even though I was trying to save room, I still had to try a little bit. Blue cheese brioche with the butter was excellent. And as I had mentioned, the prices here are going to be the same as the strip. So a shrimp cocktail is going to be $23 for four shrimp, roughly about $6 per shrimp. But that's the price at a nice place in these times. And for me, it was worth it. The shrimp were large. They were huge. They have some small lobster tails here that come as an add-on to your meals. They go for about two to three ounces. So these were just a little bit smaller. I mean, if you ate all four of these by yourself, you could begin to feel yourself getting full. The shrimp was fresh and chilled, served with a cocktail sauce and lemon. These were delightful. If you're really hungry and you love seafood, they have a mesquite fired seafood tower here. It goes for about $69 per person. That tower comes with main lobster, shrimp, oysters, scallops, and king crab. It sounded really good, but it sounded like it would be a little bit too much and also pretty pricey. So we settled for the shrimp cocktail. We also got a number of appetizers. This is the tomato caprese, $18. As with most high-end steakhouses, a lot of the additional items, the sides and add-ons come separately. You have to order them a la carte. The Caprese had really big, thick slices of mozzarella. It was good with the basil and the little tomatoes. We decided to get this instead of a salad for tonight's dinner. Then the entrees made their entrance. Wow, unbelievable. Thank you so much. Before I get into what I ordered, here are some of the other items that they have available along with the prices. There will also be a link in the description below if you wanted to see the full menu. Normally, my favorite cut of steak is the ribeye or I love the prime rib. Sometimes I'll go for the tomahawk as you know. 
But tonight I was getting something a little different. My partner ordered the salmon. The salmon was beautiful. Look at that beautiful crust on it. It was cooked perfectly and I mean perfectly. It was crusted over the top with the seasoning and it was moist and tender. If you love salmon, you're gonna love this dish. This place is really good in their quality and presentation. As far as my steak goes, tonight I wanted to try the Chateaubriand. How many of you have had this Chateaubriand? I never really knew about this until I heard that it was Bobby Flay's favorite cut of steak. It's actually not a cut of steak, it's actually a dish. This is a tenderloin. This is a French cuisine preparation of the filet mignon. It's actually the whole filet. It's supposed to be tricky to cook because it's got the thickness of a roast. Chefs recommend that you order this rare or medium rare. And it took me a while to learn how to eat rare, but I ordered this medium rare. It's still kind of rare, more rare in the middle than on the outside. But this is how it's supposed to be enjoyed and served in the best way. So if the redness makes you squeamish and you can't eat rare steak, maybe this is not good for you. But who takes a tenderloin and cooks it till it dries out? That's considered a no-no. But there will always be a debate between those who like their steaks well done and those who like it medium rare. To each their own. But the Chateaubriand served medium rare or rare is extremely tender. It's got a great beef flavor. Normally this is served with some kind of a sauce, usually a, like a Bernays or maybe even a wine sauce. This one was served with asparagus and roasted carrots. This was an incredible steak. The asparagus added great texture. The carrots, I kind of ignored them, but I did eat a couple. It also had roasted onions. This was a really good steak, and I was torn when I was coming here between the tomahawk and the Chateaubriand. The tomahawk is huge, 40 something ounces. This wasn't that small either at 20 ounces, but the quality of the steak, I can see why this is the preferred dish among steak connoisseurs. To say it plainly, it's like a filet mignon, only better and more of it. This is like indulgence. This is very silky, perfect crust on the outside. I mean, this was delightful. It was like bliss. I forgot that I had sides and that usually happens when I'm totally engulfed in the steak itself. I can't see anything else. If you're like me, you probably like the ribeye, the New York, they even had a Kansas City Strip, which I used to absolutely love when I lived in Kansas City. There was a lot of the Kansas City Strip there. But if you've never tried the Chateaubriand, I recommend you try it. This is an incredible experience for steak lovers. After a while, I did manage to realize that I had side dishes. The potato puree is like a mashed potato with fried garlic over the top. Very buttery and creamy. Perfect. And tonight I wanted to try a few different items that I normally don't order. I saw a cauliflower gratin. Now who likes cauliflower? Basically it has no taste. But the reason that I ordered this was because I saw that it was prepared in a gratin style with smoked bacon and cheese. So it made sense to me that somebody would use a low calorie item like cauliflower to be a vessel for your smoked bacon and cheese. This was actually really good. I'm glad I ordered it. And then the green bean almondine. Green beans served with almonds, nothing extremely different here. It's prepared well, of course, at a place like this. But the whole dinner was just really, really good. The Chateaubriand, I'm so glad I ordered it. No regrets. This was actually my first time trying it. But I did read up on it a little bit before I came here. I do recommend you check out their menu in the description below. They have other items that seemed really interesting. For some reason, the buttermilk fried chicken sounded really good, but I came here for the Chateaubriand. And the $36 price tag for fried chicken seemed a little bit too much. But at the same time, I wondered how it would taste at T-Bones. If you live in Vegas or you are just visiting, I highly recommend Timo's. This is a great place for a steak dinner. It's going to be pricey, but it's going to be good. 
if you want a better deal with really quality stakes you might want to try looking at my other videos for echo and rig and also herbs and rye and there's a number of places but the whole experience at t-bone was incredible chateau briand is awesome i recommend you try it but that's gonna do it for this one from t-bone's chop house and lounge at red rock station thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video